My kids introduced me to a new sport the other day, corn dog sword fighting. It was pretty awesome until Eli's corn dog ended up flying onto the floor. I guess that means he lost. My name's Mark, and I'm glad we get to walk through middle school together. Hey everybody, welcome to Gabby's Craft Corner. Today, we're gonna learn how to do a painting. What'd you say there? Yeah, I know you can't paint. I've seen your work. Well, good news for you, neither can I. We're gonna learn together. Today, I'm choosing to do a celestial painting. You can do the same with me, or you can go your own way, whatever you wanna do. If you don't have a paint palette like me, you can always use a paper plate. Or you can ask your parents' permission, and you can use one of your ceramic dinner plates. But don't use your grandma's china. That might be upsetting. <laughs> My paint's pretty darn old. <laughs> Haven't used this one in a while. So it's pretty chunky, but that's okay. Just keep on painting. Oh, what'd you say? Gabby, that's going to take you a long time to paint that whole thing. Yeah, I know. I'll edit it out. Wow, done already? Yep, I'm that fast. Also, you may be thinking, Gabby, my paper is all wrinkly because it was meant for the printer and not this project that you recommended. I know, me too, but that's okay. We're all a little imperfect. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna do the moon. Cause the moon, the moon reminds me of how small I am in this big universe. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're all a little imperfect. <laughs> What'd you say? Gabby, your black paint didn't fully dry. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna add a few craters. For that, I'm gonna use the other end of my brush, almost like a dull pencil. What'd you say? Gabby, you're an artist. So are you. Next, since my moon is done, I'm gonna add some other planets. Oh, that's amazing. Next, we're getting a little celestial here. I'm gonna add in some stars. Never know how to add them stars? Well, I've watched a few YouTube videos and I've seen how they do it. Don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna try it out. And it might just get some paint marker this is for. But we're gonna wipe that away and no one's gonna be the wiser. Then you're gonna flick it with your finger like this. Whoa. Whoa. Make sure all the paint is just right on the end. Ah, oh, that's amazing. You're gonna need a lot of paint for this flyer. Because let me tell you what, it's really not gonna go how you expect it. <laughs> and that's okay. Oops. Life isn't as we expect it. <laughs> oh, what'd you say? Where's the sun? I'll show you where it is. Same color as the moon? I know. But it's all in my imagination. Like you said, get creative. This time, it's about bettering ourselves. Find your inner peace. And let's get crafty. Thanks for coming to Gabby's Craft Corner. When I was in my early 20s, I did this thing called bike touring. You get a tent, a sleeping bag, you know, everything you'd need for like backpacking, but you put it in bags on your bicycle and then you just ride off, you know, to some destination or maybe not, just ride off into the countryside and ride around until you run out of food, then you go to a store and you ride further, and it's just kind of a crazy way to adventure and explore. Well, this one ride that I did with a friend, it was so, so steep, I could barely even ride up the hill, and at one point it got so steep, I had to get off my bike and just push the bike up the hill, because it was so steep, I had 30 or 40 pounds of gear and food and supplies in my bags. So I was fighting gravity up this hill, and then we spent the night and spent another night. And so two days later, we came down that same hill. I can tell you right now, I would much rather try to go up that hill than down the hill. I, I was so heavy with my bags on and everything. As soon as I let off the brakes, like my bike just took off flying down the hill. But as we think this morning, we're reading in Ephesians chapter 1, I want us to think about gravity and how gravity works. It's this invisible force that can affect our lives. 
And yet there's this other force that we're reading about today that can also affect our lives in a huge, huge way, in such a positive way. So let's open up our, hand, our hands and our hearts as we open up the scriptures. We're in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 19. Paul is praying for his friends and Paul's stuck in prison, but here's what he prays. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe in him. Power, God's power. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. There is a power that is invisible, that is from God, that can raise dead things to life. And that's good news. You may have heard adults use this word gospel. Well, the gospel, the good news of God, that the kingdom of God has come near, includes this idea that dead things can be raised back to life. I don't know if there's some things in your life that maybe need to come back to life. I know that in, in my life I've experienced this power over and over and over again where I've messed up relationships and God can breathe new life into them. Where I feel like, gosh, I have nothing to give today. And then I pray or I sing a song. I put my mind back on God and I remember, oh yeah, I believe in the God who has power to raise Christ from the dead and even to raise parts of me from the dead. I know that in this season, in this difficult season, I've experienced this power really on a daily basis to keep me moving. I've never struggled so much as a person during these last nine months, and yet God has also just never shown up so much in my life, day in, day out. I hope that you'll join me as we pray for God's power to be made apparent in our lives once again. Would you open your hands with me? God, this morning we are in need of your power and your strength in a new way. Just like gravity can affect us and move us in invisible ways, Lord, we're asking for your power, the resurrection power of Jesus Christ to fill our hearts, our minds, to change the outcome of our lives, to bring out of deadness life, to bring dead things back to life. We love you so much. Thank you for this amazing promise. Help us to experience it every single day. Amen. Well, if you're a new sixth grader and you'd like to connect in some way, you can reach out to me, mark at faithcenter.net. I know we got Thanksgiving break coming up, Christmas break coming up. No matter what you're doing, I hope you're finding time to take care of yourself, get outside, maybe create something beautiful. I just got a puzzle that I'm so excited to put together. Maybe I'll include a picture of that next week. Get outside, help your parents, help your siblings, find some way to bless somebody this week. I love you. I know y'all still love me. Let's go love somebody.